Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on cloud computing myths and truths by IntelliPad. Cloud computing is the act of computing services involving servers, warehouses, networking, knowledge and analytics over the internet. These give more lasting modifications, adaptable resources and markets of scale. But there are still some misconceptions in people's mind regarding cloud computing. In this video, all your doubts will be cleared. So without further wait, let's start the session. Before we begin the session, Make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Hello everyone and welcome to this video by Intellipa. In this video, I will be talking about cloud computing myths and the truth behind them. But before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for regular updates from us. First, we'll have a little introduction. Cloud computing is mentioned in most of the discussions wherever developing technologies are talked about. Unfortunately, far too many of these debates are based on wrong information and scare tactics. While it's always a good idea to approach new technology with a fair dose of skepticism, this should always be backed up by evidence. Here I have collected the top 10 cloud computing myths and the hidden truths behind them. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the first myth. It's always about money when it comes to cloud computing. The common misconception regarding cloud computing is that it always saves money. That is true in some cases, but there are numerous additional reasons to migrate to the cloud, the most prevalent of which being agility. All company decisions, including cloud decisions, boil down to money. Even if the end goal is agility, cost is still an issue. If you haven't done the hard work of honestly examining your circumstances, do not expect to save money. On a case-by-case -case basis, one can use total cost of ownership and other models, create use cases for the cloud, consider factors other than price. It is critical to guarantee that the company does not have unrealistic cost-cutting goals that are not met. Next, we have to be good, one must always involve cloud computing. Well, do you like to cloud wash? Cloud washing or the tendency to label things cloud when they are not can be unintentional and the consequence of genuine misunderstanding. However, many IT organizations and suppliers refer to numerous things as cloud in order to raise funds, close sales, and meet ill-defined cloud objectives and plans. This leads to the misconception that a strong IT product or service must be cloud-based. One should call things what they are rather than depending on cloud washing. Many additional features such as automation and visualization are capable of standing alone. Next myth that we are going to talk about is everything should be done on the cloud. Cloud is ideal for some use cases such as workloads that are highly variable or unpredictable or where self-service provisioning is critical. Not all programs and workloads however, are cloud ready. Moving a legacy application, for example, is generally not an acceptable use case unless clear cost savings can be gained. The cloud may not be suitable for all workloads. When applicable, don't be scared to propose non-cloud alternatives. Next one is an on-premise data center is more secure than the cloud. The danger of a data breach or cyber assault is one of the first worries raised by cloud skeptics. The vast majority of professionals, however, think that cloud Cloud computing is far more secure than an on-premise data center. Cloud solutions not only have the necessary infrastructure, but they're also maintained by some of the world's best security experts who work for cloud service providers. Now let's move on to the next one, that is cloud migration will result in extended downtime. Now there is a reason why the phrase time is money is so well known. No organization, regardless of its business, region, size, or nature, can afford more than the bare minimum of downtime. Time. Cloud migration, on the other hand, does not have to imply lost time and money. When in reality, most popular cloud service providers enable smooth life transfer with minimal downtime in cases where the existing servers are highly antiquated. Next, we'll talk about storage and analytics are the only benefits when it comes to cloud. Data storage and analytics are two of the most prominent uses of the cloud. This does not, however, imply that cloud is limited to just technology and data science departments. According to statistics from 2011, the majority of cloud investments investment in the Asia-Pacific area is focused on customer service, marketing, sales, manufacturing, and human resource management. Department agnostic seamless flow of accurate and up-to-date information can be a game-changer for any organization 
if utilized correctly. Let's move on to the next one that is less control. Most people believe that cloud solutions are rigid. When it comes to cloud migration, businesses have a variety of alternatives to choose from, including public, private, and hybrid clouds. Each of them provides a distinct amount of adaptability and flexibility, which businesses can choose from depending on their needs and skill set. Moving further, we have cloud computing leads to digital transformation. Deploying cloud technologies can put businesses on the fast track to digital success. However, it is far from the only requirement for a successful transition. It is not uncommon for vendors and IT experts to portray cloud computing as the panacea for all of a company's digital problems. As a result, before migrating to the cloud, senior management should have a clear goal and reasonable expectations in mind. Further, we have businesses are migrating away from the public cloud. Well, the notion that workloads are being migrated from the cloud is mostly wishful thinking on the part of legacy providers who stand to benefit if the myth were true. The truth is that most businesses have not returned cloud workloads. The majority of those who have gone from software as a service, co-location and outsourcers rather than cloud infrastructure as a service. That is not to argue that every cloud move goes smoothly. However, rather than abandoning their cloud approach and moving applications back to their original location, businesses are more inclined to handle issues as they arise. With that, we have come to our last myth that is, vendor lock-in is eliminated with multi-cloud. Many businesses assume that utilizing various cloud service providers will help them avoid vendor lock-in. Although, this is a typical practice to reduce reliance on a single vendor. Multi-vendor models may provide issues in terms of security, compliance, and cost management. As a result, if you're content with your present cloud service provider, it's better to stick with them rather than diversify. With that, let's conclude now. Every company has its own set of requirements, and the cloud will not be able to meet all of them. Consultants promoting cloud, hybrid, or on-premise services are sure to highlight the benefits of their offering, while also highlighting the drawbacks of their competitors. Given the complexity and ambiguity that comes with such a mission-critical service, the cloud is ideal for the strategy. There will always be laggards who believe no one can protect their data as well as they can or who are concerned that the cloud will render their abilities obsolete. Once you have gotten past the hype and dogma, you can figure out which cloud service is ideal for your business and which provider will serve you best. One of the most crucial decisions your company will make is which cloud service to choose. So thank you everyone. That's all for this video. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.